Hello everybody, welcome back to Building with Carl. We're in the farm right now from our last episode. We made this thing way too big. I gotta tell you, it took a long time. Although I am still doing some work um, off cam, of course. Uh, we're gonna make it even bigger. I'm gonna build uh, a grain silo to store all the wheat. Because I have an idea that we could we could load up a farmer's inventory with wheat and then he could throw bread at another villager and then we could collect it in our bakery. Uh, so, but first, let me show you the output of this farm so far. Nice. That's like, I think, two hours of me building in the area. So, that's a lot of wheat and seeds. It's a pretty efficient farm, I think. We got three farmers going right now. And our collection area isn't the entire farm yet. I still have to upgrade that. But today we have a special guest star, Prismarine7. Hi! Hi, Prismarine. <laughs> Hi! What, what, do we, what do you want to do today? Uh, let's build the butcher shop. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. What are we going to do for the butcher shop? What are you got any ideas? Um, um, maybe have three different parts. Okay. What are gonna, what's gonna go on those parts? Let's um, go take a look. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you got this, I guess this is the pin area for the animals, right? Yeah, I think so, too. Um, okay, and then... And then and maybe then, that's like, like the, let's say, grocery store area. This is like the shop area, so yeah. I think the villager stands here. And then sales is meat, I guess. Yeah, that's probably right. And then he does. The, the the customers come over here and like they can't even sit in these janky chairs. <laughs> they suck. <laughs> Pretty lame. So lame. Well, there's the front. All right, let's we're gonna time lapse this and we're gonna tear it down. Yes, tear the roof down. It ha all has to go. It yeah. all has. To Bring down the roof. Um, it's like the opposite of raise the roof. It, it is exactly the opposite of raise the roof. <laughs> yeah. Raise the roof? Uh, put down the roof! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I think we're going to extend it all the way out to here. Yeah, and then we're going to do like a, like a castle theme because it has like those little... Like, castle thing. It looks like a like a castle with those bumpy things. Oh yeah, on yeah, yeah. That's true. I'm kind of, I'm yeah. doing that in all my desert buildings. It looks I guess. Good. It does look good. But maybe we should do it like that. Oh, uh, I think that's too many stripped of logs. To yeah. be honest with you. Yeah, it kind of looks like a weird like. It's too stripy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. And that's gonna be the door. Uh. I think the gate, right? We're yes, gonna, the gate. We're going to bring in a cow uh, let's or a chicken. We're going to have a, a, a bunch of Yeah, we're going to build a uh, automatic cow farm inside. Yeah. It's going to breed and cook the cows. And then we're going to have an automatic chicken farm. Like, yes. Here comes our first guest. His name is a villain. I mean victim. So, here's a, a, a demo of the the chicken farm. So... Throw an egg. <laughs> just throw an egg. So chickens, baby chickens are half a block high. Um, which means when you have lava above them, they won't get burned by the lava. But as soon as they grow up, they become, I think they're like uh, three quarters of a block high. And then when you... Yeah, like, it just died so yeah. because it glew up. It died because it glew <laughs> up, which kind of... Yeah, so we got some cooked chicken there. And now we are going to build, now like, we're just, the walls. We're building we're the building. walls for the middle section and the front section. Yeah. The middle section is going to have our farms in it. The front section is going to be the storefront. Yep. I, I, I'm, I'm doing all the things. So. Yeah. I'm just working on the roof design, making it match to our theme. Yep, the castle bumps on top of the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, castle bumps. 
so I looked at a lot of pictures uh, before I started building even the first house of different uh, homes like in Morocco, and Egypt, and because we're going for like an Egypt other theme. other yeah other desert places and then so I've taken a lot of ideas from that but then also even for the farm you know you might think that people in the desert don't have access to a lot of water but the yeah. Egyptians were using aqueducts and building bridges like 4,000 years ago so uh, history history yo so that's this is the school we tricked you yeah. we're going yeah. to we're going to learn you up good so that's where we got the idea for those aqueducts yeah because uh, i knew that you know if we were going to build a farm we got to have lots of water yes because and now that farm is going to be we want the animals to get big and fat for when big we're and going fat. to kill them <laughs> yeah we're going to use all that wheat to breed our cows and then the seeds we can use for the chickens, but we got a little trick with the chickens, actually. We'll get to that in a second. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm actually gonna do redstone in this video. Yeah, I know you guys probably didn't think I knew how to do redstone, but you'll see how we do. Yeah. <laughs> in his very first realm, he made, a, like, oh, like, he made everything redstone, like, related, like, I don't remember, but he made like a whole wall of just like a bunch of redstone stuff. I don't know what it did exactly, but it was really loud. That was my automatic sorting system. Okay. I used uh, the Tango Tech design, which is pretty cool. He built his own kingdom, like, um, so like there was like a huge castle with his um skin. Wait, I think it had like an armor helmet on it, on like the skin he's looking out. And then um, me and my sister Kylan had a room there, had a room there. And so it is um, dad. It, and there was like a whole dining room, the kitchen. It was, it was, it was really cool. And there was also like a whole town that was also like deserty themed. Which you like going desert, don't you? Uh. I guess so. You should try doing like a modern city. I think I'm going to do a modern city for my next village upgrade series. I, I want to do upgrade like every type of village uh, that there is in the you vanilla should, game and then do the, some other maybe more interesting snow, styles too. Maybe a village should be like just all like little igloos yeah <laughs> like a whole village of igloos yeah yeah but also like some <laughs> other building because like like the, they don't just have igloos right yeah but what else like, do they have i don't know but i know mostly they have igloos for the house so here i'm starting on the redstone uh chicken farm boring stuff boring stuff boring so stuff to people you're gonna like me. <laughs> what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a hopper array on the back of a dropper um, you're gonna have a bunch of chickens up on top of those hoppers. They're gonna lay eggs. The dropper's gonna collect the eggs. You'll see. You'll see. But don't you make like the rest of the farm for, like a night dinner? No, I, mean, I think I made all this in one shot. So we've got the. Uh, the, the the killing area there in front of that dropper. No! So that... <laughs> oh no! The cows! The cow moment! Oh my oh, gosh! So yeah, I'm moving sister. over to the to the cows now. They are. Uh... Yeah, I'm figuring out how to get them to stand on top of that trap door, and I succeeded. And uh, now there is a. Ton. Oh, a ton of baby cows I got to take care of. Look what you did, Carl! <laughs> oh. Oh. Filling it in a little bit more. Got to add some hoppers. So we're going to have the cows stand on those hoppers. Um, and so baby cows are one block tall.
block and a half. Uh oh, what did I do? Um, and so the lava again will not affect the baby cow, but once the cow grows up, the lava will be triggered automatically with a. Um, I actually did a uh, what is it? A redstone torch burnout clock, and then that is triggered by a uh, one of the Etho Hopper timers. So not an Etho Hopper clock, but it's actually a timer. So uh, yeah, trapdoors. Trapdoors are fun. <laughs> there we go. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I added some blood in the background there. You can probably kind of see it. All right, back to the roof. So, if you guys want to see a tutorial on those animal farms, there's a ton on uh, YouTube. You just have to search them. I'll I'll try to put a link to one in the video. I used um, Exuma's chicken farm. And you know, I don't think I used anyone's cow farm. I think I figured out the mechanics on that without really having to watch anyone else's design. Science! Minecraft. Science! Yeah, right? Like... I, I am not familiar with any kind of webstone or stuff like that. I am not science Well, it's all. just understanding the rules of how redstone works and then being able to build the things with within those rules. I probably get bored or uh, Right? Okay. It does take a little while. It's tedious work, that redstone. But it's fun. It's really fun. When you get into it, you get um you get to build things that you otherwise couldn't build in this in this game. I like I Which like, is nice. I like to decorate like the in like the interior Uh, so here at the end, we're pretty much done with the building. We're just going to add a rooftop, uh, like a patio. Yeah. So a lot of Egyptian homes back, you know, like 3,000 years ago, they would have all their meals up on the roof because it had the most light. Okay, we're all out of time, people. Thanks for watching. If like you, and subscribe. If you like this, please subscribe. Subscribe, please like it, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Bye.